my name is Jen and I love cookies. It is a ponytail week here on Cookie Comparisons, apparently. Um, I just got home from rock climbing and I need to make dinner, but it's gonna take a while and I'm really hungry. So I figured why not eat a cookie to tide me over until my dinner is ready. So I have with me a requested cookie. This is a chewy molasses ginger cookie from Cougar Mountain Cookies. Um, this is a Seattle-based company, and it was requested by one of my coworkers many months ago, I think like back in May. So um, I went to the drugstore recently and I saw it there and I instantly knew I had to buy it and try it. So here we are. Um, for those of you who may have not seen all of my videos, I don't actually like molasses or ginger, but I am here to serve the people and it was requested, so I'm eating it anyway. Um, it already smells very strongly of both of those things instantly upon taking it out of the package. This is a quite large cookie. Here we go with the hand scale, um, but it is very thin. So it's not as, like, I don't wanna say it's massive like the world's best dough cookies are, which are very fat. Um, this is also like a normal cookie weight. Those ones are heavy. Um, it's very dark. It's soft, I can tell. Um, I don't have a lot more to say about it. Um, I have had, I recently rated a cookie with ginger and molasses that I actually didn't mind. So it's possible, maybe my tastes have changed, maybe I won't mind it, we'll see. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and find out because I'm hungry. It's very gingery. Um, so it is soft, it's also a little bit chewy. Um, and at least on the edges, it's a little bit dry. That's unfair. It's not dry. It's just not gooey. Um, so it's a pretty consistent, like well-baked, soft texture all the way through. At least for now. Maybe when I get to the center, it'll be gooier. So the ginger really comes in at the end. It's more in the aftertaste. Um, and I think up until that hits, I'm okay with the amount of ginger and molasses that's in this cookie. There's obviously a lot of molasses, that's why it's this color. Um, but I don't mind, I can taste it, like in the first half of the flavor profile of this cookie. Um, I do taste the molasses, but I don't mind it. And I think I taste the ginger all the way through. It just like really hits at the end and that's when I'm like, okay, that's too much ginger for me. But people really like ginger, I mean, like a, this is like a soft version of a gingerbread cookie. And some people really like gingerbread cookies. Good for them. I feel like this is the cookie that protein cookies are trying to be. Like this soft, chewy texture that they don't quite get right because they end up more like Play-Doh. But this is a nice, soft, chewy texture that's not like Play-Doh. It's like a cookie and it's pleasant. But I'm gonna say it's not my favorite cookie texture anymore. But it's good. So I've been eating a lot of cookies that have a lot of stuff in them. And I think that it's changing my perception of the way that cookies should be because i was so used to eating mostly like sugar cookies um but i will say this one i don't know 
I mean, I'm gonna have to eat the rest of it to decide. But I don't know that it needs anything else. It's packing quite a bit of flavor just from the molasses and the ginger in the dough. Um, and I don't feel like it necessarily needs texture variety either. So I am noticing the absence of mix-ins, but I don't think I mind the absence of mix-ins. I'm just aware of it. Okay, so what I think was interesting about that cookie was that as I continued eating more of it, I eventually like adjusted to the amount of ginger and I reached a point about halfway through where I was like, I'm okay with this. But then I kept going and there was just a lot of ginger residue flavor in my mouth and then it got progressively worse again to the point where by the time I got to the end of the cookie, I was like, whoo, I definitely cannot handle this. I finished eating it anyway, but it was a lot of ginger. That said, if you like gingerbread and you like soft cookies, this is definitely the cookie for you. It was very consistently soft and chewy all the way throughout. Um, so no gleeness at any point, but um, it did come like packaged in a grocery store. So for a packaged in a grocery store cookie, absolutely fantastic. For even a bakery cookie, pretty good if you like like soft and chewy all the way through cookies. So no complaints there. Um, I really, have no complaints at all <laughs> except for the fact that I just don't like ginger and it was really heavy on the ginger um there wasn't anything about it that was like this is amazing so I don't want to put it really high but I also try not to let my personal preferences like affect the scale too much so what I'm gonna go ahead and do with this one is go with a 6.2 because I think it's a really solid cookie there wasn't anything remarkable about it um, but if you were into gingerbread, I think you would have loved that cookie. So we're going to go with a 6.2. I just scared my cat because my table has magnetic legs and I accidentally stuck my scale to it and it made a very loud noise. So I'm letting him sit here for the moment. I didn't put my camera back down. Woo! Here we go. Okay, for those of you who haven't met him yet, this is Chip. He requires an impossible amount of affection. Um, that was the Chewy Molasses Ginger Cookie from Cougar Mountain Cookies. If you like watching me talk about cookies, please like, comment, and or subscribe below. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day and eat more cookies.